this is part nine of the Blender game engine physics tutorial for uh, new Blender users. Okay, so now in this scene, this is interesting. This is the second scene. This should still work if I press P and pr press S. I should still swap between scenes like this. Okay, it's always pretty cool because it's it's a great way to restart simulations between scenes. But in this one, all I have is a cone in this sphere. Oh, such a simple little scene, right? But however, check this out. When I use the left key, left arrow key, and I move it, and I come over here, and I run into that cone like that. Look at that. It rotates that cone around. Let's see if I can just get just barely. Oops, it rotated off the side there. Let's see if I can start it again. Or I can go right through it. I should have, I don't have up and down key set, so once it gets out of view. But anyway, you can see what happens. It rotates the the cone starts rotating right however if you look over here if the cone well that's set to dynamic but the cone is static I say static but yet it rotates okay well that's interesting in and of itself right so let's see what what's going on well we'll have to go back to the game logic of course and let's see what this is so what I have in here is I have a I have a sensor and instead of a keyboard sensor or a mouse sensor, I have a touch sensor associated with the cone itself. So this is basically, it's kind of like a collision detector sensor. This end, if something collides with me, I'll go through one of our AND gates, yes, and then do this. And then what I ask it to do is to rotate it right here on the y-axis by five degrees, all right? So that's pretty much all that's required to make it move. And um, let's go back then to this. And that's why when you come in here, so that, that cone just sits there and waits and waits and waits. And, you know, if it collides with whatever object in the scene, you know, it's going to do, do that thing. So that really gives you some flexibility because if it's, uh, and it's a static object. But so it's not really the same type of physics. However, now watch this. If I turn it into a dynamic object, now let's see what happens when I run the simulation. Mm-hmm. Interesting, right? It just starts taking off on its own. All right, let me move. Let me move it up here a little bit and run the simulation. Oh, well, it still takes off on its own. But notice up here, it's not taking off, right? in this case okay but that is because this object the cone has now collided with the surface when it gets down here and then since it's continually colliding with the surface it just continually rotates on five degree increments all right and then this is still working and it'll collide with that and it can still work as well at the same time all right very powerful techniques to make it work all right we'll just see it once again Mm hmm so that gives you a lot more power for a lot of cool things you can do within your game or simulation and it's a lot of fun all right well that's it for this lesson and i'll see you in the next lesson